here on the red carpet at the National Heads Up Poker Championship pairings party presented by GoDaddy.com here at Pure Nightclub. It's the night before the tournament starts and most of the poker world is in attendance for one of the premier events of the year. Inside, the party is underway as the players wait to find out their first round opponents. It's an evening full of anticipation and excitement here at Pure Nightclub. Back at the feature table, Moneymaker with a small chip advantage. Blinds 300 and 600. Negrano with King 10. He raises to 1,200. 1,200 total. Moneymaker with King 9. And he's going to re-raise to 3,700. More big pot poker from Chris Moneymaker. Negrano calls. Already 7,400 up for grabs now. King on the flop. Ace out there as well. Chris with control of the pot. Leads out for 2,800. 2800. And Daniel has to respect the possibility that Chris has an ace. He's represented a big hand. Negrano calls. Pot up to 13,000, and Chris can't like Daniel's call here. Queen of Diamonds on the turn. Daniel picks up the gut shot straight draw to go along with the best hand. And Moneymaker bets 4,800, Ollie. This is what we hadn't seen from Chris so far in the match, Craig. Reaching deep and finding the courage to fire that second barrel in a risky situation. What do you think? I don't know. I can tell you your two cards. I think you got, like, Ace Queen or something. I, don't know. I think you have Ace Seven. Ace Seven, you put me on? Close, but not quite. Courage pays off for Moneymaker. Negrano folds. I thought I was going to break you that Matt. That... Yeah, I didn't have Ace Seven. Ace Seven, I might break you. Maybe, yeah. I had a hand that's almost like Ace Seven, actually. Telling the truth, not one of the more important aspects of poker. And now we move over to table six where Vanessa Russo flopped the flush and has the legendary Doyle Brunson all in and in big trouble. Big trouble's an understatement here. Doyle, though, taking it all in stride because he's seen it all before, hasn't he? Yeah, but he won't be seeing any more in this tournament. Nine of spades leaves him drawn dead. Time to say his goodbyes. Vanessa Russo moving on to the round of 32. However, the legendary Doyle Brunson, one and done this year. We rejoin the action at the feature table. Daniel Negrano down three to one in chips. Lines four and 800. Chris Moneymaker, ace six. And he raises to 2,000. Raise 2,000 total. Jack eight for Negrano. He calls. Each pot getting more and more important for Daniel at this point as his stack dwindles. Negrano pairs his jack and checks. Chris checks behind and pairs his six on the turn. On. Negrano all in. He's betting over twice the pot here. And Chris doesn't look convinced. My call. Moneymaker calls. We got an all-in over here. And he's got Daniel covered. I uh, know. <laughs> Did I? That's not good for me. Right, I made a now? crying call. Chips went in. Let's Sounds take like a look. Like Jack eight yeah. offsuit for Daniel. This is ace just a really bad call by Chris Daniel. Moneymaker. He needs a six or an ace to send Target Daniel packing. May have put Daniel on some sort of draw, but even we'll so, continue. just let the 2,000 go. Moneymaker can't even look. King of and Diamonds King on the river the means Daniel will double right. up. That's 65. Nice answer. 7,000, thanks. I knew I didn't like the turn. Oh, oh yeah, you had sucked you in, right? Uh, I was going to bet the flop, and that was to put me in anyways. Yeah, you bet. The, but then again, you might be able to fold in the flop. Unless you're, very true. But who knows? There was a very draw-heavy board. Yeah, that's why I, I made that play looking like, you know, maybe I'm on one of the draw, and I just don't care, so. No, I know you care. No, no, I'm just saying, like, if I had a draw and I'm betting, 
from calling anyway. Yep. Thought maybe you could put me on a draw there. I did, obviously. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, sometimes you have a feeling a card's coming. That time, I didn't think an ace or six was coming on the river. On the river? Yeah, like, you know, I didn't think you were going to beat me that hand. I didn't either. You, sometimes you just know it's coming. Like when I'm on high stakes poker, I know it's coming. <laughs> when I was walking around, I was like, there's no way this is coming. I just know, I just know <laughs> it's, it's like... not. First of all, I don't run good in this thing, so yeah, it's, right. you know. Chris spent so many pots, Craig, building up that three to one chip lead, and it just got nullified in one hand. Stacks practically level. Pocket nines for Negrano. He raised the 1600 moneymaker with ace king. He's a 16 raises. He's going to re raise to 4600. Daniel could think Chris is steaming after losing that last pot. I'm all in. Again, Negrano all in. I call. And yes. moneymaker calls. <laughs> we got an all in over here. Classic race here. Pocket pair against two over cards. 40,000 chips in play, 39,000 of them in the middle. This pot essentially determines the match. I got a pair. Daniel's got two nines. You're ahead. Oh, that's good news. <laughs> All right. Good luck, kid. Good luck, my life. Either way. I think so. I think it's very, very close. Moneymaker walking away. He has a slight lead in the coin flip as well. <laughs> Where'd he go? He can't watch. He can't watch? I'll let him know. Wow, an ace. Uh, oh, brutal. <laughs> I don't, believe what I don't believe what Daniel says. I don't think there's an Oscar in Negrano's future. <laughs> you can see me, right? Daniel, you're not going to tilt me from way over here. <laughs> I do better when I don't look. I don't want to see bad news. OK. Chris is ready to check in for his flight already. I don't want to play no more. No, Seven that's nines that's on the flop for Daniel. I, I think I lost. <laughs> that's a bad flop for you, Chris. I, 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 I gathered that. <laughs> I'm used to it. It's OK. Yeah. All right, don't do anything stupid now. Things looking pretty grim for Chris Moneymaker. Here's the turn. I can't win a race to save my life. Oh, we always got to do The jack stuff on like the that. turn keeps Moneymaker alive with the uh, straight draw. Can't win a race to save my life. I was ready to just go home and be done with it. Uh, yeah, never yeah. easy. It's never easy. Moneymaker needs a 10 on the end here. Came queen nine four. I, I never, I never catch the ten ball. Oh, he's moaning. He's what's moaning. That? that should be illegal. Huh? Wait a minute. You can't moan before I the card comes. Uh, what's Boy, that? That's so dirty. Uh, it's ace king versus nine. You can't do that. <laughs> yeah. That's like dude, that's the, he knows how to <laughs> manipulate. I, I got four outs. Oh. Came queen nine four. Now Jack, don't ten put ball. a ten out there. Ten ball. Chris All can't right. hit. No ten on the river. <laughs> Daniel back, will advance. Enjoy. Did I make good laydowns? Now that I go. No? Oh, you were buffing me? No, I, was, I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought I did. All right. Good match, man. Thanks, bud. Appreciate it. Oh. Well, I asked him if I made good laydowns. He said no. <laughs> I folded a lot of good hands. And I said, I said, did I make good laydowns? No. <laughs> Chris came in wanting to play big pot poker, but in the biggest pot of them all, the cards didn't go his way. As we return to Caesars Palace, let's go down to Leanne Tweeden with our featured matchup. Congratulations, Daniel. Thank you very much. I'll start with you, Chris. What was your game plan coming in today? And before that last hand, were you able to execute that? Yeah, for the most part. I, uh, my game plan was to put pressure on him, uh, not let him play small ball. I know that that's what he wants to do, and uh, make him make tough decisions and make it to where I don't have to uh, make the calling decision, make him do it. Okay, well, Chris, thank you for playing today. Yeah, thank you. Daniel, it seemed like he was being aggressive. How did you counter that? Well, you know, my strategy going in was I was trying to do, I was coming up with a creative bluff, but it just never came about. <laughs> I mean, I just You never, were trying and yeah, it Yeah, I was happened. trying to bluff him. I thought I was playing really, really good, and then I asked him, and he said that he had king nine on, the, on a big hand that I folded king ten. But other than that, I thought I played pretty flawlessly, uh, you know, making good laydowns and just trying to, I felt like the play was going my way for the most part as far as the decisions. I felt like I had a little bit of a read on him, so right. I, I decided, you know what, forget the bluff. I'll just <laughs> wait till maybe he makes a mistake. Now, are you going to go root for Mike Mattisau so you can play him next? I want to play somebody tough, and um, <laughs> you know, just don't he, let him the, hear the, that. The truth is, if I play someone like Mike Mattisau, I just don't bring my A game because I only bring my A game against really good players. <laughs> You're terrible. Kidding. I'm joking. <laughs> you Actually, are. either one. I like playing with both. Dario and I have played online. We okay. played like 10, 12 matches. He's fun because he, he bluffs like crazy. Do you know any you Italian? Know. Uh, I speak a little bit, yeah. you know. Uh, we just got there. Daddy, oh my God. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Daniel. Congratulations. Right. You got it. 
Negrano brings up a great point, doesn't he, Ali? That at this point, these guys all pretty much know each other's games. For the most part, these guys have played with one another in tournaments or cash games. Or, of course, here at the Heads Up.